WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 557. We get the NASDAQ down 189. S&Ps are off 57. That's a hit of 2.3% in the NASDAQ, 2.1% in the S&Ps, 2% in the Dow Industrials. Gold contract. Gold contract up $2.40, trading at 1286 an ounce. We have silver down a penny, $14.91 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 91 cents, 61 dollars 31 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 12 ticks. 124 even, 30 a bond up almost a full point at 148.24. We get open, we take a look at this 10-year. Uh, what you're going to see, both the 10-year and the 30, folks, they're breaking topside once again. They have volume behind them. We got 1.5 million contracts in the 10 going after the 124.04 level. Bottom line is that you are over the first high, which was January 1st. That's what we had broken out on the 22nd of March. This baby wants to run up to this 124.31, more than likely take that baby out. If we take a look at the yield on the 10-year, right now you're at 2.446. King dollar, what do you have with King dollar? King dollar right now trading up at a price point of 97,400. That's not enough to take it up and over uh, the highs of this consolidation. It's 97,705. That's the number right now, you're at 97,400. Uh, we go take a look at the S&P, what you're gonna have out here, folks. S&P, bottom line, you're at down $6, you're at $286.80, and uh, you can expect lower prices right into the close. The differential out here uh, between yesterday and today, uh, you can see it right in the tick index. What we had out here yesterday, uh, bottom line, that tick index came in way too high. You had a, a plus 1,400, and now on the downside, we only get a minus 1,263. A minus 1,263 is indicating uh, that this baby can keep going. Uh, in order to uh, turn around on that tick index, you got to get that thing up to about 1,400, minus 1,400, and then get a second one of about minus 12, minus 1,300. And you're not even close to that. So what you don't have out here, even though the market's down pretty dramatically, you don't have dramatic selling simultaneously. That's when you when within minutes, you just don't have that out here. This has been pressure all day long inside the marketplace. I expect what you're gonna see, pressure coming right into the close out here. Dow Industrials down 555, NASDAQ off 192, S&P's down 52. Stay right there, folks, come right back.